You're out bashing around with your Capra, jumping it off of houses, you know, just having a good old time, and you break an axle housing. Well, I've broken mine. So I'm going to repair it with a brand new housing, just a stock replacement, nice and cheap. There are links in the description to get a replacement if you need one. Now, this I believe is a combination of my jumping, driving like a crazy guy, and the steering mod. I'm going to show you guys the brake and show you guys how to replace the housing. Take a look. Here's the brake right here. Now, with the steering mod, you kind of shave the little uh, stops off right there. So it makes it a little bit weak. And, you know, you jump around, things break. It's not broken all the way through. So I probably completely did like two videos on this or something. I'm not exactly sure. However, I'm going to go ahead and get that fixed for you guys. This side's doing just fine. But anyway, yep, let's get to work. By removing the wheels and tires, obvious. And then you're going to have to use a two millimeter hex wrench to take your steering off here, here, and here. This way it's nice and easy, just remove the portals. When you remove the portal boxes with the bolt here, here on both sides, the axle shaft will slide right out with the unit and you can just set that on the table. It's the same for both sides. Now, since the servo is on the axle, you will have to take it loose here with these bolts right here. If not, you're gonna have to follow your wire all the way back to the receiver box. And you know, yeah, and then you have some wiring. So it's easier to just take it loose right here and then um, we'll move to the back side of the axle. Portal boxes and steering are off. Don't lose the bolts. And here we can see the brake. Yeah, it is uh, pretty darn close. It was just about to come on off. Now the servo is loose. Now I wanna flip this over and get to the link area and the drive shaft. To finish removing the axle assembly, it's a two millimeter hex wrench. You've got one here, one for your upper link, upper link and your lower link right there. Now this is also your shock mount as well. And then the drive shaft pin actually takes a two millimeter hex wrench as well. So take those bolts out and the front axle is loose. With the axle lock, you still have six more screws to finish taking this apart. Two for your servo mount and four right here that holds the third member in place or the part that holds the ring and pinion. This is what you'll see when you pull the pinion gear cover off. That's your ring gear, there's your pinion, you can check it for grease and bearings and general wear and tear. The new housing is obviously the one on the bottom, nice and shiny. Now, even though I did break it there, I went ahead and trimmed these down anyway. I didn't quite trim them as far. Maybe they'll be a little bit stronger. I like my steering, so yep, I did a trim. As far as reassembly goes, it's just a simple matter of bolting things right back where you took them from. Now the axles will come out of the portal gear as you can see right there. So you will have to line that back up in case you happen to have the axles come out. So don't just, you know, fling the covers off and fling the drive shaft out into the woods or somewhere. Also, don't forget to transfer the outside bearing to the new housing. With everything assembled, it's time to put it right back into the Capra. The new housing is in place. The broken housing is way over there. It also comes with a new servo mount. And I also have a spare one in case I decide to get stupid again. At this point, it's just simply put the tires on and we can take this thing outside. As far as driving goes, there isn't really a whole lot I can show you. I mean, I showed you guys the whole build and all that. So, and I'm pretty sure this is probably where I broke it when I was jumping it with the 2.8 sand paws. You know, just kind of bashing around. So anyway, I'll drive a little bit for you guys, bash around. Maybe it won't break again, ha ha. Get some quick climbs in here. And a little... yeah, there we go. Go ahead and tackle some rocks here. Oh, landed on that axle. Let's see if I can get on up. Right now it has the axe system in it. 23 with the no, 2300 kV motor with an 11 tooth pinion gear. So it's kind of a little bit hippy here. So I'm gonna come on off, come right back up over here. All right, let's get this climb right here. 
piece of cake. All right, let's get some dig action. Probably just messed that up. No, nope, it got it in there. Yes. Yay. Bring it on down. See if I can dig up that. Pretty cool. Nice little uphill turn dig. See if I can get up this right here. Oh, almost went over. All right, we're going to continue. I'm going to go ahead and make this turn and try to come down this right here. See if I can dig my way around. Let's see, I'll try to show you guys some of the side angle on this. Huh, that was easy. Right, let's see if I can stay on the concrete. I did. All right, now we're gonna to try to dig up this right here. Oh, about to fall off the back side, and there is no easy up over there. Let's see what we can do with this little climb here. Now that piece on the left is broken. I haven't got that fixed. I don't even know if it'll stay in place. All right, there's that. Nope. <laughs> there it is. I'll have to re-secure that before I try it again. Give this right here a try. Let's see. No. This is proving to be a little bit too steep. We can get up on it, but we can't quite get over. Let's see. Can get the front to maybe catch that ledge over there. Which I don't think I want to be able to because it keeps dropping back every time I get into the dig. Let's try something. Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Let's keep on trying this for just a second. I'm thinking this is doable with the right bounce. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, come on. Don't fall off now. We are close. Come on, G6 tires or G8 compound. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was the first time that has ever been climbed. <laughs> Very nice. And Sam was here to witness it. Oh. What's up, buddy? Mm-hmm. First time that was successfully climbed. I'm proud of the Capra. So the repair is simple, straightforward. You know, if you're not familiar with working on things, Hopefully I give you enough information and enough video clips to help you out if you happen to break yours because people will break these things. Now, that one particular climb, well, that was pretty darn cool. So I'm happy about that. So yeah, um, there are parts in the description as far as uh, the actual housings and anything else I can think of. Some eBay stuff, Amazon stuff. Make sure you guys check that out. And guys... As always, thank you all for watching.